have goals that you seriously want to achieve, I don't want you to keep it to yourself anymore. I want you to put it out there, show the world, tell the world what you're going to do, and then pack it up. That's what I'm gonna do in this video. I wanna share my goals for the 2018, 2019 indoor season. These are my personal goals. I wanna go through them just to give you guys an idea and also for myself to put it out there to the world. So when I put this video out there, I put this post on Instagram, I make a blog post on my website. I've told, not just myself, I've told everyone else who follows me, this is what I'm going to do. Now, if I don't wake up in the morning and if I don't move towards these goals, not only am I letting myself down, I'm letting those people down. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch this video. I'll tell you my goals. I'll go into detail. I'll give you some examples. But I want you to create a list of goals for yourself for this season. What are you going to achieve? Don't make them the exact same as mine. Make it specifically for you. And I want you to take those goals and I want you to put it out there. Don't be afraid of saying, hey, I'm going to do these things. Because when you put it out there into the world and you say, this is what I'm going to do, well, you're putting that positive pressure on yourself. You can use it in two ways. You can say, hey, if I don't do this, all these people are going to laugh at me. Or you could say, if I don't do this, I'm going to let all these people down. So let's go through my goals. I'm going to put this out there and I'm going to work towards these every single day. Now, I'm being very ambitious. So I'm playing in four leagues right now, and I want to be the top goal scorer in all four of those leagues, and I want to be the champions. I want to win those leagues. Now, when you're setting goals, you want to try to set goals that are personal to you. You know you can achieve them. You don't have to rely on other people. Now, soccer, football, it's a team sport, so we don't always have total control over what happens. But we can at least give our best effort. If I'm setting these goals. Now, I'm going after them. If I don't achieve them, guess what? That's still it's still gonna force me to become a better. So you have to realize, it's still gonna force me to become a better player. So you have to realize, even if I don't achieve this goal, it's not necessarily the goal that's so important, it's who I become in pursuit of that goal. So coming back to these, I wanna be the top goal scorer and I wanna win the league for the major indoor league, so that's uh, 6v6 boarded arena soccer. Yes, that's what we play in Canada, but it's something and I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna enjoy it. So to win and be the top goal scorer in that league, there's a new league, which is AV8. It's, it's outdoor, it's on a turf, indoor, but outdoor rules, AV8 league that just started this year, futsal league and co-ed soccer league. Yes, I play co-ed as well. So I'm playing in four different leagues. And for myself, I always say, hey, I'm not, I'm not striving to become a professional anymore, but that doesn't hold me back from being the best that I can. And like I'm saying, being very ambitious with the level that I'm playing at and trying to be my best, forcing me to become better. Am I good enough to achieve these goals right now? No, I have to become better if I want to realistically achieve these goals. Now saying that, I have been the top goal scorer in the major league before. So it's not like these are totally outrageous, but for me to be the top goal scorer in all these leagues, it's going to force me to become better and do specific things. In a different video, I'll talk about Yes, it's great to set goals, but what's your plan to actually achieve those goals? A lot of people set goals, they set newer and bigger goals, but their days, their training, their nutrition, their lifestyle, it's, an, it's not any different. So how are you going to achieve something bigger and better if you're still living the same life? We'll do that in a different video. So I want to be the top goal scorer in those, I want to be the champions, and um, I'll set some other goals as far as assists, I still want to create a lot of chances, but just for the sake of this video. I want to be the best soccer player in Calgary. Now this is very subject, objective, subjective. I can't really define it, okay? But I think if I go out there and do all these things, then I could probably say I'm the best player in my town. I want to, this is the big one here, get onto the Canadian national futsal team for the 2020 World Cup. Now realistically, I'm, I'm not on that team right now. I did play with them a little bit, but I'm definitely a fringe player. So I'm going to have to improve a lot and I'm going to have to go to Nationals, we'll do that by winning the Futsal League, we'll go back to Nationals and I'm really going to have to impress at Nationals. Realistically, that's the only way I'm going to get back into the team, but this is the biggest thing in front of me right now, so I really think I have to go after it. So to get into the 2020, I'm going to have to dominate in 2019 and show up at Nationals, really impress at Nationals and um, just hope for the best. Okay, I also put some... And I do have business goals, I have fitness goals as far as my, my body weight, my body fat percentage, uh, business goals as far as how much money I want to make every month, but some, some YouTube goals, I want to hit 500,000 subscribers this year, 
getting close to 400,000, so I don't think it's optimistic. I wanna hit that 1 million, but I think that might take a little bit longer. So this year, by 2019, I wanna hit 500,000 YouTube subscribers. And I wanna get my Instagram game up. I'm at about 35,000 right now. I wanna get up to 100,000 Instagram followers by the end of 2019. So these are my personal goals. I set these up, and I put them out there. I made this video. Thousands of you are watching this. I'll put this on my Instagram. I'll put this on my Facebook. I'll put this out there. People in my own city, people that play against me, they're watching this. People that play with me, they're watching this. They're seeing this. Okay, so I'm putting this out there. I'm not afraid. I know I'm not good enough to achieve these right now. I know I can become good enough if I take action. And as I said in a different video, we'll talk about exactly how to create a strategy to make these goals realistic. So thank you for checking out this video. What I want you to do right now is I want you to set some goals for yourself 2018, 2019. What's going to inspire you? When you wake up in the morning and you're laying in bed and you say, oh, I'll just hit the snooze button. That means you really don't have attachment to your goals. You don't wake up and say, wow, if I don't move forward today, I'm not gonna be able to achieve that. I'm not gonna be the top goal scorer. We're not gonna win the champion, the futsal league and go back to nationals. I'm not gonna be the best player in Calgary. All these people are gonna see that. They're gonna say, this guy's a fake, he's cheap, he just, he just talks all the time, he doesn't do anything. I'm not going to achieve that dream of getting into the national team playing in a World Cup in 2020. Those things are not gonna happen. If I am lazy, if I make bad decisions, if I give into temptation, if I waste time, if I procrastinate, if I don't do my training. So you need to have good attachment. You need to have goals that motivate you to get out of bed. In a different video, we'll also talk about your why, your purpose. Why do I need to achieve these things? It's not just, oh yeah, that would be great. Why, who am I doing this for? Okay, I'm doing this for my kids. I'm doing this for my fans, for you guys, my subscribers. I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this for my family because I know if I achieve these things, it's going to make me a better player. It's going to make my channel better. It's going to allow me to get more coaching clients. It's going to allow me to sell more product, to make more money. So doing all these things, it's much deeper than, yeah, I'm going to be the top goal scorer in the league. No, who are you doing this for? What is your purpose? I'm creating a legacy. So when I'm, I'm old and riveled and wrinkled, or when I'm dead and when I'm gone, I know that I've left something here. So it's not just about this surface goal, it's, it's so much deeper than that. But for right now, let's just focus on the goals. Your homework right now is to set some goals for yourself. What's available for you right now? And I'm actually missing out on a few things here, like tournaments, like, um, yeah, there'll be like five or six tournaments throughout the year that I'll have on here as well. Things that would motivate me to pick up the training, to stay in my best shape. But what are you going to set? What's in front of you right now? What goals do you have? Opportunities do you have? Maybe you have trials. Maybe you have tournaments. Maybe you're playing in a league. Maybe you want to set a goal scoring or assists. Maybe you're a goalkeeper. You want to set clean sheets or your defender. How many clean sheets can you keep this year? Maybe you have trials for big teams. Okay, so what are your personal goals? Not mine. Don't copy mine. Think about the season that you have in front of you right now. Make a list and don't be afraid to put it out there on your Facebook, on your Instagram. Share it with your friends, with your family, with your parents. Say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. If I'm not working towards these, I want you to call me out and say I'm all talk and I'm not about action. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. And check out my website, ProgressiveSoccerTraining.com for exclusive training content.